So the million dollar question, what is Java? The simple answer would be, Java is a programming language and a computing platform. So what exactly does that mean? Let us first understand what platform is. Let's say you bought a new computer and as a friend of yours, I give you a few softwares and games. I give you one Photoshop, Chrome browser and Need for Speed racing game. Would you be able to install these softwares or play games? No, because your softwares does not know your computer and your computer does not know your softwares. They both are strangers to each other. Now we need to somehow introduce both these strangers to each other and develop friendship between them so that we can play games. So we need to hire a guy who does that job. Any guesses? He's none other than the operating system like Windows or Linux. So if you see operating system is acting as a platform on which we can run applications or play games. Now I hope that you got some idea on what platform is. So just as operating system is there to run applications like Photoshop, NFS and Chrome, Java platform is there to run Java programs or Java applications. Except Java platform is installed on operating system just as any other software. And this is the very reason why Java is said to be portable. We'll talk about portability later. Remember, I said Java is also a programming language. These Java applications must have been developed using Java programming language. So depending on the context, you need to determine what Java is. Java is a platform on which you can run Java programs or applications developed using Java programming language. Now let us take a look at some of the categories of programming language. We have high level programming language. These are somewhat closer to human readable language and are hence easy to learn and easy to code. Most of the high level languages are portable or platform independent, which means you can write your program once and run it anywhere without having to worry about the operating system on which you're running your code. One setback though is that high level languages are relatively slower compared to low level languages. One major reason is due to the conversion process which converts the code that you write to the code that machine can understand. This process abstracts a lot of low level details for the convenience of the programmer. This would be minimal in case of low level language. So more the language is closer to human natural language, the slower it becomes. C++, Java, PHP are some of the examples of high level language. Coming to low level language, these are somewhat closer to machine language, I mean zeros and ones, and hence humans find it difficult to understand and to code. These languages are often dependent on platform, so the developer have to keep in mind on which operating system he is really willing to run his program. So if he writes a piece of code for Windows, there is no guarantee that it runs on Linux. Developers have to amend the code to get it working for all operating systems. And since these languages are close to machine readable language and mile away from humans, they run faster compared to high level languages. Assembly language is one good example and middle level language lies in between high level language and low level language and are neither close to human nor computer. They stay in between the two. A good example would be C language. Although you can write code which is somewhat closer to human readable language, you can also access memory using pointers or you can even write assembly level code using C. You must be glad that Java is considered as high level language though.